namaste kings and queens welcome back to my channel i am intuitive flow if you're new this is going to be for gemini sun moon rising venus and the north node or wherever you may have gemini in your chart all right i'm sending you all peace healing love and prosperity also health and well i hope you all are doing well I hope you're taking care of yourself, loving yourselves, honoring yourselves and those around you. This is going to be general for April. Um, we're going to get into some etheric messages, career and finances, love and self-care messages. All right. Make sure you guys like up on the video as it truly helps the channel grow. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and um, that notification bell so you're notified when I upload or I go live. I just recently went live for Scorpio and Taurus. So if you have either of those signs in your chart, make sure you check those out. And yeah, let's get into it. So I already pre-pulled for you, Jimmy. Um, your etheric message is intuition, all right? And it says here, inner compass, following your heart. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> that ensign don't play. Hold on. Excuse me. Something in regards to you speaking what you feel, okay? Because with me coughing... I know it was the incident, but of course, everything means something. Your inner compass is definitely going to be communicating with you this month, Gemini. And it's going to require you following your heart in order for you to truly get the answers you need and you deserve. Um, there could have been moments of you not trusting yourself as it pertains to your intuition but looking at the image here i didn't even notice that i've never noticed that in this card but how the blue is coming out of her mouth the color blue is also for the throat chakra as well so there's something about speaking your truth this month gemini you you can't hold back anymore Okay, there's something that you're not going to be able to hold back anymore. There's something that you know, not only that you know, you have proof. And you could be confronting someone. You could also be expressing your love to someone, following your heart. As it pertains to who your, inter, your inner compass has been guiding you towards. But we'll get into love. For career and finances, you have employment change and it says here your career path is leading you to a higher direction with positive change to support your dreams priorities passions and life purpose trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new you are being supported each step of the way I love this Gemini. So some of you guys definitely will probably be needing to use your intuition and following your heart as it pertains to a career or employment change. Horses are very significant along with the planets, okay? I'm, I'm picking up on you needing to check your planetary placements or your natal chart as it pertains to what you need to be doing um in regards to your career whatever it is that you decide to do or whatever this employment change may be you're going to find security in this you're going to find love passion and you're going to be safe in this career. You're going to feel financially stable. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up a stable as well with this horse. And just the way she's feeling so comfortable or looking comfortable. Some of you guys, 
I'm picking up something about a farm or horses. So for love, you have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. All this shit is tying in together. Love, money, spirituality, change for the better. I just love this. It's like your intuition is really guiding you towards your dream goals, your dream career, your dream partner. It's like this month is seemingly being intuitively guided by you. It's just going to take you to follow your heart, Jimmy. Some of you guys may struggle with that. You may struggle with making bad decisions in the past. But what we're going to clarify. All right. And lastly, for your self-care, you have hydrate. The number 27, which breaks down to nine here. So I am hearing nine ounces of water, even though eight will be great. Okay. Two to three, eight ounce glasses of water to start off with. Um, staying hydrated is very important this month, Gemini. There's something in regards to keeping yourself purified throughout the day because of all the messages and the downloads that you're going to be receiving at this time. And you want to make sure your physical body can handle this. Otherwise, you may feel very tired and drained. But it's just because you're going through a DNA activation. Source has a lot to say to you this month. Some of you guys, if you are dehydrated, that may block off a certain frequency for Source to connect with you. If you, I'm picking up if you feel your body locking up or if you see changes within the color of your skin or your lips or your hands or something like that, I'm picking up. These could be signs of dehydration. All right. I mean, I'm even picking up on eye color change. But I also feel like water is going to intensify your aura externally. And this blue is still sticking out to me. All right, let's see. The mantra for hydrate is I am made of water and in touch with my ties of life. Water is life. It's a resource we need to greet with deep reverence and respect. On this blue planet, water is in abundance. However, clean, fresh drinking water can be challenging to find in some communities. Whenever possible to go out of your way to have enough clean water to drink and set the intention to make drinking water a sacred experience. Oh, it says whenever possible, go out of your way to have enough clean water to drink and set the intention to make drinking water a sacred experience. Infuse your water with positive intentions. Adorn your water vessel with sacred symbols and uplifting words to infuse the contents with positive vibes. Drink spring water to enjoy many vital minerals and nourish your body. I'm also hearing here incorporate your water with crystals. All right. For some of you guys, um, lapis lazuli would be really great since your energy is seeming to connect with the color blue in this reading. Yes, even blue in this card, this card, this card. Like, yeah, some of you guys, your favorite color may even be blue. May even be blue. But connecting with the color blue is very significant this month. Jimmy Nye. All right, so let's clarify here. Holy Divine Spirit, Universe Source, messages for Gemini for April. Oh, and this is... We in a whole full moon in Libra. Come the fuck through. Happy full moon. Beautiful moon, too. I was just outside and just gazing and just setting intentions and just feeling the energy radiate from the moon. Okay, a lot of you guys will benefit from that. Some of you
you guys could be connecting with the Libra. I'm picking that. I'm picking that up very strongly. Or you could have a moon in Libra yourself. But the moon in Libra is significant. Clarify intuition. It's just my intuition. Yeah, look, six of wands and the ten of swords. I definitely do see here that this time around, you following your heart and paying attention to your inner compass, Gemini, is going to bring you great success and victory and recognition. I see you here laying a lot of mental anxiety to rest. You're putting a lot of betrayal behind you. People who mistreated you or left you out to dry or just didn't appreciate the energy that you brought to the table. And this is definitely giving me the energy that I picked up on as far as you maybe feeling as though when you followed your intuition or you trusted your decisions in the past, you were always betrayed. But I feel like with the Ten of Swords, this is an ending. So I feel like with you ending those self-negative thoughts or those negative thoughts about the decisions you made in the past and trusting in your intuition even more now is bringing victory and success with the Six of Wands. Yeah, page of page of wands, nine of cups. Yeah. I see you getting some really, really, really great news this month, Gemini. This is something that is going to get you to be passionate about something. This could even be passionate about yourself, passionate about your life, getting back, getting back to doing things that bring you pure joy, love, happiness. There's something in regards to doing, tapping into your childlike energy. I'm picking up on roller skating. Some of you guys may be going roller skating. You may be taking a walk, going to the park, getting on a swing. Like with the nine of cups, this is like wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. This could even be in love though as well. But with the intuition, I feel like that's intuition. That's, that has a lot to do with self. This is something in regards to following your heart, following your bliss this month. Taking a trip expressing your love doing something new doing something you always wanted to do doing something you haven't done before that used to make you really really happy in the past um clarify employment change for a gemini sun moon rising nine of wands the tower five of swords and the ten of cups employment change here now keep in mind gemini this month doing things are change okay let's talk about change change is inevitable and it does come with a bit of a struggle initially here you could be having your guards up with the tower and the nine of wands there's something in regards to holding on to a memory in the past where you made some type of changes and it didn't last. But I definitely do feel like this time around, the foundation is, is much more stable because you're more in tune with your higher self and you're more connected with your intuition than you've ever been this month. I feel like you're more prepared as well. A Scorpio or an Aries could be significant in your life at this time. But with the Five of Swords here. What? Okay, hold on. The, the Five of Swords is, is, is 
there's Aries again. It's it's like in front of the Ten of Cups. So the Five of Swords is that, you know, mischievous energy, the energy of somebody wanting to win a war by any means necessary or wanting to get their way by any any means necessary. Someone who is very conniving, they're a cheater, they are a manipulator. This energy definitely is giving me the energy of like getting to the top in a very dishonorable way or unethical way. But with the Emperor clarifying the Five of Swords, I see here that it doesn't matter what, how, or when anybody does anything. It's going to take them years to get to your level. Because I'm seeing you as the Emperor. They're, they're, they're basically wanting to, wanting the chance to be with you or sit with you or be next to you. Okay, I'm picking up on an oval office this person wants to be in the rooms that you are in i don't know who this could be this could be another earth sign i'm sorry it could be an earth sign but i'm going to say another air sign i just see this person looking at you from the outside they're on the outside looking in at how happy and successful you are this month, Jimmy. You're definitely happy in love. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, the Emperor. You could be getting in a new partnership. Clarify romantic feelings. Or your, your partnership could be elevating. You could be getting married going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Or you, you could be getting proposed to. But it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Clarify, clarify romantic feelings for Gemini. Judgment could be with a Scorpio or someone can have Scorpio and Pluto or Aries and Pluto. Page of Pentacles. I'm picking up on energy around not giving a fuck what somebody says or what people think we have the king of pentacles here and the nine of pentacles wow and the high priestess somebody here is definitely more than what appears on the exterior there's more to this person that meets the eye i feel like if this is somebody new they're not going to present all of themselves to you source is saying do not judge a book by its cover because this person could be approaching you looking like you know doo -doo -doo, or you know seemingly very green but this person lives like a king and they're single with the nine of pentacles this person is single single taurus virgo or capricorn for others of you with the with the page of pentacles, you could be choosing you could be choosing to give somebody another chance with the judgment card. There's something around making a sacrifice or doing it right this time or not doing it at all. The death card and the queen of yeah, the queen of pentacles. Okay. I'm picking up on this is the last chance mm -hmm. for somebody. Somebody could definitely be expressing their feelings to you. They're going to be expressing how real their, their feelings are for you. I do pick up like this person does not mind starting from scratch or doing whatever you say, Gemini. Yeah, I see this person like bowing down 
like begging for another chance or begging for you to take them back, begging to prove to you. They see you as this queen of pentacles. Sorry, you guys. I thought you could see that. Hmm. This is interesting. You could have broken up with them with the death card. You could have ended it. I, okay. For, so for, for some of you guys, I don't see you giving this person a chance. For other for others of you, because the, the page of pentacles is here, I see you making them like grovel or something. I'm giving them just a little bit. All right. Hydrate. Seven of pentacles. Yes. Invest in a great brand of water. Invest in a, a really good brand if you can. Um, for those of you, like the book said, incorporate or infuse your waters with uh, positive intentions here. Invest in your health is what I'm hearing as well. Five of Pentacles. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. I feel like for a lot of you guys, water could be affecting your health. The Five of Coins or the Five of Pentacles could speak of somebody who was ill. So Source is really coming through as it pertains to your health. For a lot of you guys, it's water. Like drink more water, Gemini. What are you doing? You're um you're not drinking enough water. Look, source is like, please, just 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 take just take the water. <laughs> There's energy around an argument over money. This may be why Source is prepping you to stay positive and using the element of water to assist with that because you may have a lot of drama coming your way. We got the Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords with the Tower and the Five of Pentacles. I, I, I do see some issues arising this month. Page of Swords. There's something around he say, she say, some type of gossip. This could be about somebody you walked away from with the Eight of Cups. Four of Pentacles, this is somebody who's still holding on to you. Ace of Wands with the Seven of Swords. And the Temperance could be a Sagittarius or they could have Sagittarius in their chart. For the Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands, you may be finding out about who this person is that's been trying to deceive you or who has been lying on you or sneaking around on you. Yeah, the Temperance, this person wants to reconcile with you here. This could be your partner. Mm-hmm. There, I'm picking up on something about picking up bad habits. You could have picked up bad habits from whoever this person was. Oh, yeah, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups play, yeah, from the Himalayas. Leave them alone, especially if it's a fire sign. Yeah, Jimmy, that's what I have. I hope this helps. Like the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Love you. Bye.